Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my delicious smothered French-style green beans, which we smother in a rich and flavorful pork stock, which is seasoned, and we add smoked neck bones to it. Now, this is made with fresh green beans, no canned green beans here. In addition to that, we serve it over rice, and we also make a buttery and moist cast iron skillet cornbread to go right along with it. This recipe, you can serve about eight to 10 people with it because it's green little rice and it's cornbread and you can serve quite a few people with it. It's a perfect dish to serve, especially during New Year. It's flavorful and absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all you'll need to make your smothered string beans with neck bones or rice with cast iron skillet cornbread. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need three pounds of fresh green beans, two and a half pounds of smoked neck bones, any other type of smoked meat will work perfectly for this recipe. You can use any type of long grain rice. I'm going to be using jasmine rice. You will also need some salted butter. You can use unsalted butter as well. You also need some yellow cornmeal, all purpose flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, buttermilk at room temperature, large eggs at room temperature, and for your seasonings, you will need one yellow onion, garlic, salt, black pepper, Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole seasoning or the Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Podom's Vegetable Magic, and to bake your cornbread, you will need a 10 inch round cast iron skillet. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started by chopping up one yellow onion. All right, here I have two cloves of garlic. And from there, I'm gonna take the garlic press and press the garlic. And there we go. All right, I've added my green beans into this mesh strainer. And I'm going to rinse the green beans off with cold water. Okay, and next we're going to take each green bean. I'm going to take my knife. And from there we're going to cut each green bean horizontally. Just like that. We're basically cutting them into string beans. All right, and this is how green beans look after I cut each and every last green bean in half. Look at that. All three pounds of them. Now, this might look like a lot of green beans, but once they go to the cooking process, they're going to cook down. Preheat your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with making our neck bone stock. So in this large eight quart pot, I'm going to add three tablespoons of salted or unsalted butter. I'm using salted. Add that in there. Just going to spread this around and let the butter melt. And to that, I'm going to add one and one half cups of chopped yellow green. Get this together. I'm going to let this saute for about five to six minutes, stirring occasionally. Add the two cloves of pressed garlic. Let's add some seasoning. I'm going to sprinkle about 1 4 teaspoon of salt, 1 4 teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning, and a half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Prudhomme's vegetable mat. And while I'm at it, I'm going to add 2 quarts of water. Stir all your ingredients together. Add your smoked neck bones in there. I'm going to cover this. Let this simmer for one hour and 30 minutes. Now while that's going, let's get started with making the cornbread. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 400 degrees. I'm going to place my cast iron skillet into a preheated 400 degree oven on the bottom rack. 
I'm going to let that sit in there until we're ready to add the cornbread batter in there. All right, let's get started with our cornmeal batter for our cornbread. So in this medium sized bowl, I'm going to add two cups of yellow cornmeal, a half a cup of all purpose flour, three tablespoons of sugar. Now, if you want a more sweeter cornbread, you're going to add a half a cup of sugar and go from there. One teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one and one half teaspoons of salt. Take my spoon and stir all the ingredients together. And for our wet ingredients in a separate medium sized bowl, I'm going to add one and one fourth cups of buttermilk at room temperature two large eggs at room temperature, and one and one half sticks of melted salted butter. Now I'm gonna take my whisk and stir all the ingredients together. Next, we're going to take the wet ingredients and pour it into the dry ingredients. Stir all your ingredients together. Stir it very slowly. And from there, your cornbread batter is ready. Okay, our cast iron skillet should be nice and hot. I'm going to remove it out of the oven. Okay, next I'm gonna take some butter and I'm just gonna brush that along the bottom and the sides of the cast iron skillet. From there, I'm going to pour my prepared cornbread batter into the skillet. Okay, next I'm just gonna give this a quick shake like that. And from there, we're gonna put it in the oven. Place this into a preheated 400 degree oven on the bottom rack. Bake this for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, it's been about 15 to 20 minutes now for our cornbread. Now let's go ahead and remove this out of the oven. Now two pick tests inserted into the cornbread should come out clean. And as a final garnish, we're going to uh, spread some salted butter on top of the cornbread. Make sure you can do this while the cornbread is still nice and hot out the oven. You're gonna let this cool for about 30 minutes to an hour before serving. We have a little bit more time left, so let's cook the rice. Preheat your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with parboiling our rice. Now this is one of several different ways on how to cook rice. So in this medium sized four quart pot, I've added one and one half quarts of water and to that, I'm going to add one and one half cups of rice. Stir all your ingredients together. Let this simmer for seven minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, it's been about seven minutes now. You want to make sure that you taste your rice to see if it's at your desired texture. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn my fire off. Add your rice into this mesh strainer. Be very careful because this is hot. Next, I'm going to rinse my rice off with cold water. Okay, you're going to take your mesh strainer with the rice in it and place it on top of your pot. Put a lid on top. The rice is going to absorb the rest of the water. Now you're going to let this set for about 15 to 30 minutes. And after that, it is ready to be served. Now that we got that done, let's go ahead and check on our pork neck bone stock. All right, it's been about one hour and 30 minutes now. And as you can see, the, the mixture has cooked down. It's a nice, wonderful broth. And those neck bones are nice and tender. That's exactly what we're looking for. And this is the stock here. It's like a milky-like stock. Have a little taste of that. Woo-hoo! On point. Yes, yes, yes. Gonna be some good green beans right here. Okay, next we're gonna add our cut green beans right on in there. All right, and to that, I'm going to add an additional one cup of water. Now, this is not going to dilute the stock or anything like that. The greens are still going to taste really good. Okay, Just push that down on in there like that. I'm going to cover this. We're going to let this cook down a little bit. 
and then afterwards we're going to stir it. Let this simmer for 15 minutes. Remember, do not stir. All right, it's been about 15 minutes now. And as you can see, our green beans have cooked down some. Now we're going to stir them. Let's stir this very carefully. Let's push the green beans down into the liquid. And now the real cooking can begin now that the green beans have cooked down some. Now I'm going to cover this. Let this simmer for 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, it's been about 30 minutes now. And after two hours and 15 minutes total cooking time, so that's one and one half hours for the pork neck bone stock and 45 minutes for the green beans. And from there, our smothered green beans with smoked neck bones is done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire off. Now for some quick tips, you're gonna let this cool for about 30 minutes to an hour before serving so that way the flavors can settle and increase as it cools. And of course, for best results, you can serve this the very next day so that way the flavors can settle and increase overnight. And those green beans are going to absorb all the liquids from the seasonings and the smoked neck bones. Here is the final presentation. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Smothered green beans and neck bones over rice with cast iron skillet cornbread. Made from scratch by a New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including this one. Go to www.charliecookandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can't wait. Now it's time to greet and take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Man, oh man, where do I start? Oh, the green beans, because I let them sit in the refrigerator overnight so those flavors could settle and increase. Wonderful, well seasoned flavor, especially with those pork neck bones in there falling off the bone. Delicious. And man, the cornbread is nice, buttery, moist. Mm. Delicious. Mm mm. I'm telling y'all, try the recipe. Instead of that old cabbage, black eyed peas, or collard greens for New Year, you can try these delicious French style smothered green beans with the neck bones and the cornbread. Wonderful. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace.